and I mentioned I was a day ahead. It is, or a cartoon ahead? Not a day ahead. Oh, yeah, I am a day ahead. Anyway, it is March 30th. It's still Friday, just like I'd made the last video, which I did finish just, uh, just posted that one a few minutes ago. I might wait a while before I do this one. I'll post it. It's 4.22 p.m. here on the East Coast in Virginia. Uh, about, 50, about an hour south of Washington, D.C. I was actually Googling garbage cans. So they look like, I don't know how I thought about the little spray nozzle bottle that I did like that addition. I, I mentioned it's, did I say February? It's, it's March 30th, 2018. Okay, all right, it's Friday. It's the day where you guys all can uh, go to the bar of a happy hour and get some appetizers. Maybe get a poo-poo platter. A poo-poo platter? Do you want a poo-poo platter? I, um, I don't know what I'm doing. No. I kind of enjoyed drawing this one, even though I labored over some parts of it. And I cut out all the lettering because I actually forgot to record when I first started. I thought, ah, screw it. I'm just and let me cut out the lettering because there was going to be a lot of words, a lot of wordy stuff. So I just knocked it all, took it out. Sorry, Emmers. Emmers knows who she is. You don't know who she is, but I know who she is. Oh. And uh, but I did like drawing this one. I was, I had another idea where trying to make a decision while he was actually uh, having his uh, exam, but the image I had in mind was just almost too revolting for me. And but the idea wasn't really that great, so I didn't go with it. I went with this one instead. Oh, but I did like it. I do think it's kind of funny that um, this doctor Ronnie Jackson. Everybody liked him. Uh, he was a White House physician for Obama, for Bush, and he always, you know, he never issued statements about their exams about just how excellent they were and just like off the charts, good and amazing and great genes. And that's what he did for Trump. And the, but the thing is, he, he delivered like Trump's weight, um, bright under being obese. And the height that he looks at for Trump, 6'3", was bizarre because he's, there's plenty of photos of him standing next to people who are shorter than 6'3", but yet they're taller than Trump. So that must be some science there that I can't understand. So how is someone, how are you 6'3", and people shorter than 6'3", or taller than you? I don't know. I don't know. This is a Republican world now, people. This shit like that this exists now, I guess. I didn't even like this girl's frothy fro too much, so I worked on it a little bit. And then she's just too tall there. Still too tall. Still think she's too tall. Looking at it, yeah, she's still too tall. But yeah, uh, but so anyway, uh, Ronnie Jackson got the job, even though he doesn't have any experience um, running an agency. The guy's rear admiral, and I don't think he has any experience with boats, you know. Um, and he's a doctor, and I'm sure he's a great doctor, and he's a veteran, and and uh, and he got medals and stuff for that, but he ain't got nothing for running an agency. I think he he was over about twenty people in the White House, and now he's going to take over the second largest bureaucracy in D.C. But you know the Trump administration doesn't really care about that. I mean this is all about cronyism. I mean there is like a caddy for Trump who's now heading an agency in New York. Um, like wedding planners have been given jobs. Um, he gave Hope Hicks a job whose previous experience was being a model. Um, his daughter has a job who, whose previous experience in government is none. Um, Jared got a job whose experience is just being greedy. Basically, they all have about as much experience in government as Donald Trump. So, But all this experience, it doesn't matter because uh, they just plan to destroy the VA anyway. And that's exactly why they put someone in it who's never done it before. I think, though, Ronnie Jackson, that what really makes us need to question his intelligence more than the test he gave uh, Trump is the fact that he took the job. That to me is just like, well, are you gonna do you want to be on Big Brother that bad in the future? I mean, is this your goal? The other thing with Trump's test was that he gave like a psychological exam to him. But he gave the real easy test, which is called like the Montreal test and stuff. But I don't understand much about these things. 
But apparently this is a test that if you look at it and identify which one's an octopus and which one's a horse, you know, then you pass if you get those correct. You know, the dogs say, what? Woof. Kitty say, huh? Moo? Close enough. You passed. Um, anyway, that's the test. Trump passed it to, to uh, inform us all that uh, he's not uh, just crazy, 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 crazy. Because we all hear his comments. Here's the thing that this guy, um, and then the doctor said that you know, he could live to be 200 if he'd only watch his diet a little bit better. How do you explain someone, how do you say someone's in excellent health when they're borderline obese, borderline, I'm doing air quotes right here, borderline obese, and um, they, they eat nothing but Big Macs and Diet Coke and they're afraid of stairs. How is that person in excellent health? Seriously. Yeah, I don't get it. Don't really get that. But, yeah, I get this exam. Oh, yeah. And he said he's very, very sharp. And he can live the excellent health for if he has a second term. How can you predict that? You're a doctor. You, you know, you're not a fortune teller. And, uh, but this guy, very, very sharp. And he went to the school of the Wharton Business School and the University of Pennsylvania. But he doesn't understand the difference between vocational schools and community colleges. You know? I mean, do I have to explain this to you? If you're watching this, you probably already know. But say, vocational school, you go there and you learn a vocation. A vocation. Because that vocational school will teach you like a, a vocation. They teach A as in singular. Just one. If you want to go learn how to weld, you can call that a vocational school. Community colleges. Freaking college. It's a college. It's a real college. Most people, yeah, actually I think about 24% of all college graduates um, have an associate's degree from community college. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people have community college. And they're great. In fact, I believe that we should uh, give, provide community college education for free to everyone. Community colleges are great. Every community should have a community college. And there's usually one in, within like short access to, to wherever you are. It would be a community college because they are that important even though the government doesn't treat them well. So. But Trump doesn't know the difference between that. Community college and vocational school. He don't know. But then again, he doesn't really know anything else. So, surprise! You're stupid about this time. So if you walk around and you give uh, Trump compliments, you'll get a job. But, and I had wrote in my blog that this guy, uh, Ronnie Jackson, he's going to have to, I mean, to suck up to get the job. Uh, it's not going to end after you get the job. You still have to kiss ass, especially in this administration. And if you've watched a cabinet meeting, you definitely know that's true. I mean, but this guy can probably stomach a lot because he has literally been inside Donald Trump. So I think he can do it. Seriously. I hope he's washed his hands since then. Yeah. Can you hear the news in the background? It's because the news is on. Did you know um, the Russians uh, were pretty much trying to put a hit on uh, Michael Steele, who wrote the dossier? That's what we talk about on the news now. Which is kind of, so it's like the Russians and the Republicans both have it out for Michael Steele. How nice is that for a Republican? What a bunch of bastards. Seriously. Anyway. I did like to run this guy. Somebody actually commented on my blog that they loved the broom. They loved the broom. And I like that he's dumping that has nothing but Diet Coke and uh, uh, McDonald's. Now I want some McDonald's myself. That's why I've seen this cartoon. I'm like, hmm, McDonald's. Um, I don't know when I'm going to post this video. I think I might wait uh, uh, about a few hours, but the other one has some airtime to itself. So. Uh, you know, I'll probably just go ahead and publish it, but I will, I'm not going to promote it on social media for a few hours. Unless I just can't resist. Sometimes I have that. I just can't resist. 
Can't control it. I'm drawing one more cartoon this week. Drawing it tonight, and then I will be done for the week. You will not get another one until uh, Monday morning. I'm taking tomorrow off. I got to do some running around. I don't mean running around like the bad way, like looking up like loose women. Woohoo! No, nothing like that. Damn it. Now I got to go to the bank and I go to my post office. Actually, in the opposite order, go to my post office. Then I check my mail once a month and I pick up all the checks for my clients. All three of them. It's more than three, but um, I don't make a lot of money. But pick up all my checks and then I go to the bank and then I'm going to go out and get some food. And sit around for a while, maybe get, get a little drink. I don't know, maybe. Um, dumper, 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 dumper. I just had to have some sort of weird sound effect in there. Dumper, 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 dumper. That's what it sounds like when you empty a, a little bitty tiny garbage can into a bigger garbage can. Dumper, 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 dumper. I know I've said this scientifically. That is as much of a fact as Ronnie Jackson's health evaluation of Donald Trump. It's just factual. It's just factual. I had to draw two desks for this cartoon, so I made them look different, different colors. Because if I draw them both, is that same? It'd be boring. And plus, nobody else has a desk that looks like the Resolute desk. I think the Resolute desk in the Oval Office should be removed and just held in storage until we get like a real president. Because every time Donald Trump is even in the same room with that thing, I mean, there's a very dire threat that there's going to be some Cheeto stands on the um, na National Institution. What do you call that? National Institution? What do you call that? It's like a monument or just some national treasure. You know, should not be around Donald Trump at all. Resolute, Resolute Desk was beautiful. It was awesome. It's the one where uh, JFK Jr. was crawling out of that photo. Iconic. Reagan used it. Obama used it. Uh, Bush used it. Clinton used it. The first Bush did not use it. And uh, Johnson didn't use it either. Uh, but most presidents use it. It's cool desk. And Trump should not be should not be allowed anywhere near. You know, I, I think people should start telling Trump that that desk is not big enough for him. It's not gold enough. He needs something a little bit flashier. Let's get that desk away from him. People were upset when Obama put his feet on it. They weren't upset when George Bush put his feet on it or Reagan, but you know, when Obama did it. Boy, get your feet off that desk. Don't you know you're black? Um, yeah. But I, I don't even like Trump being in the same room with that thing. I don't like him sitting at it. I don't like his elbows on it. I don't like him eating Big Macs on it. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, I changed her fro a little bit. I wouldn't say that's a fro. It's just more like curly hair. Curly, curly, curly. Cartoon's almost done. I am developing a knack for talking about 15 minutes about nothing. Really? I'm working on it. Making it a skill set. Gonna go on my resume. That and the, my ability to use chopsticks. Almost done. I really like the wording of this, and I actually uh, messaged my friend Hillary. My friend who left me and went to Massachusetts. Why, Hillary, why? Oh, yes, yeah, better there. And very liberal. Um, But I want her, her to tell me if I need any hyphens throughout the speech balloon, and she said no. So it was fine. Fine. I gotta remember to take my Spanish test today. I had a 64 day streak of taking my Spanish test every single day. And like two days ago, I just forgot. Just totally muffed it. Just went, day. Took a nap and woke up at 1.30 and then I saw this thing like, time for your test. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I missed it. Here's your cartoon. It's done. Why am I talking about the Spanish test? Look at this. Look at this. Cronyism at work. And I drew about it. Enjoy the cartoon. Breathe it in. Breathe in the cartoon. All right. Thank you for coming by. Hanging out. Click the likey button. Share this on social media. Um, call your friends right now. Stop everything. Call them on the phone and say, Hey, go look at this cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And come back later. Do it again. Goodbye.